boys and girls. This is Anne Miranda. Today we're going to be reading Furry Farm Friends, a book about animals on a farm and how they are important to you and me. In the meadow, cows are grazing. What they do is just amazing. In a wink, the grass and hay becomes the milk we drink today. On a trail, a horse is fit, with saddle, bridle, and a bit. But pulling loads or plowing earth is how they prove what they are worth. A goat herd watches over goats for milk and cheese and cashmere coats. They like to sniff and bite and nibble trees and bushes, grass and kibble. Charcoal, chocolate, snowy white, sheep are what we count at night. Dream of snugly sweaters worn from wool when shaggy sheep are shorn. A sheepdog is a shepherd's friend that works a flock when it's unpenned. The dog drives sheep and guides their way to make sure none will go astray. Cats are welcome on a farm. For pest control, they work a charm. They lounge around in warm, dry hay and keep those naughty mice away. This creature is a mule, of course. It's half a donkey, half a horse. They're known for hauling heavy loads on rocky trails or dusty roads. Even if a pig looks bare, it still has prickly, bristly hair. Sometimes curly, sometimes straight. A hairy pig is really great. At first glance, they look small and meek, but donkeys have a stubborn streak. Even with a gentle nudge, a donkey may refuse to budge. To populate the woodlands near, ranchers manage elk and deer. The animals are safe and sound, and lots of fun to have around. Have you seen a pack of llamas in their furry warm pajamas? Alpacas with their luscious coats dine on grass and corn and oats. Rabbits, also known as conies, aren't like pigs or goats or ponies. A bunny lives inside a hutch. Its fur is silky to the touch. These are domestic buffaloes, and each one has a broad, dark nose. The buffalo gals, but not the fellas, give us yummy mozzarellas. The animals that farmers keep, from milking cows to woolly sheep, are cared for so that we may live and clothe ourselves with gifts they give. If you enjoyed this book, please like and subscribe and visit our website at www.annmiranda.com. Until next time, happy reading!